So the next question is, what is a man? Brother Israel. And again, I'll go back to uh, a biblical perspective uh, that is going to transcend to a secular uh, perspective. But when I think of a man, I think of structure. I think of, uh, I think, I think strength. I, I think of, of standard. I think of, uh, from a biblical uh, perspective, a man is God's program in the earth. And when you think about a program, a program consists of announcements. And so God created man to make an announcement. And the announcement is, is, is already, is, is already in us. When you think about a man, uh, a man is value. We was, man was created in the image of God. So God already validated you when he gave you your gender as a male. And when you, when you become a man, as you grow and you, and you form your relationship with Christ, I think a lot of revelation will come based on your relationship. Uh, just as, for example, uh, God has trapped so much greatness inside of a man. Just for instance, a uh, fish and swim. Swim is trapped inside of a fish. Flight is trapped inside of a bird. That bird don't have to read nothing to fly. That fish don't have to read a manual to, to, to learn how to swim. It, it was When he was created, there was something trapped already on the inside of him. That all he had to do was act. All he had to do was, was make movement. Yeah. And so uh, when I think about a man, I think about a program is 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 God's program in the earth. Uh, we God created us to make to announce to make announcements. But it it what are we saying? Our everyday walk. What are we announcing? And not only that, we are God. He, he invested so much in a man till God gave us the authority to name things. God, he, he empowered Adam to just, he said, whatever you call the animals, that's their name. And when you think about a child, a child is born, and who name does that child care? The last name. <laughs> a child carries the man's name, the man's last name. And that's just the greatness of a, being a man. That child carries that, that father. And I, I don't want, I notice I say father because I don't want to say daddy because society has tried to refashion so many things. And that is one, daddy and father. So now society say baby daddy. No, I'm a father. I'm a father. I, I, I'm responsible. I can take ownership of, of, my, of, my, of my, my, good, my good parts and my bad parts. Mm -hmm. And so that's my definition of a man. A man is, is, is standard. He's, is a man is strength. I, I want to say this right quick. When I think of a man, I think about David. When David was dying, he told Solomon two things. Now this is this is this is David, the man after God's own heart. Notice he could have told Saul, he could have told Solomon so many other things, but he told Solomon this. He said, "As I go the way of the earth, I'm going to die." He said, "There's two things I want you to do." He said, "I want you to be strong, and I want you to show yourself a man." He said, "I want you to be a man." I want you to man up. I want you to take responsibility. I, I don't want you to be a wimp. He said, I want you to have fortitude. I want you to, I want you to love. I want you to, I want you to be responsible. And I want you, I want you to, to, to walk in the, in the authority that has been given to you. So God has the power, but he has given man authority. And so, so, so we, we have been empowered to, 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 to not, not only to represent God in the earth and to be the image of God, but also to name things. So we don't have to accept poverty. We don't have to accept lack for our families. We, God has, he has placed so much greatness in us that we can name things. So I can, I can call things that be not as though they were. So in me is greatness. In me is the ability to overcome. And that's what I think. I think a man has the ability to overcome already trapped in him, but it has to be tapped. It has to be triggered. Great, 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 great
Oh my God, what is a man? <sighs> well, I don't know how I follow that up, but uh, <laughs> one thing I want to put a shine a light on is <clears throat> the fact that you said, you know, part of being a man is accepting or or pretty much owning up to my good and my bad. I think that's the probably the most important part in terms of being a man yeah. because we we again that kind of goes back to any definition that you say you know what is love what is being a man so in terms of being a man everybody is going to be taught what the person teaching them the perception is of being a man now so that means the path may be a little bit different because if you take a person who had nothing that let's just say just in the hood that perception of a man may be different than somebody who grew up you know, maybe private schools, both parents in the house. Now, the thing is, you're a man when you can accept. I accept what I've been through, my past, the good and the bad, and now I can handle my responsibility. And I think that's the biggest part of being a man is can you take care of your responsibilities, whether you're single, whether you're married with children, whatever it is, can you take care of your responsibility? And not only that, what kind of footprint you can leave? Because I think that's huge. Your footprint is how much good can you do to the people around you? You could be a single man and still leave a, a broad net and a great footprint. So it's not just about, you know, what I can do for myself. I think that's being a man. Every Everybody around me can get better because now I know what it means to be a man. Mm -hmm. But again, everybody's path may be different. But that's why I love when you said that it's like my good and my bad. So it's like, can I take everything, all my experiences that has taught me to be a man or what I think a man is, and now can I be the man? So can I take from that and actually be responsible, you know, and just input good and everything around me? And can I, can, if I can say one more thing, Gavin, I want to add to what uh, my brother Mike said. Uh, it's not, a, there's a lot of single mothers raising boys. And so if they don't have a father figure in front of them, then they're gonna gravitate they're gonna gravitate to what they to what they see, mostly on the television. So you, you look at, for example, Odell Beckham Jr., his hair, and a lot of a lot of a lot of boys playing football, they they want to have that same house that that same hairstyle because he's he's such a good athlete. They, they, they consider that to be the image that they want to walk into. Now, whether it's good or bad, that's what's in front of them. That's the image that they perceive. And so, because they've been raised by a, a, a single parent, a, a mother, then that there's, there's, a, there's an absent, absentee of the father. And so, uh, as far as uh, the, the fortitude, the male, the image, and the, the whole uh, infrastructure of the man is, is missing. And so, they're, so when they behave a certain way at school or in society, you can pretty much, you can, you can almost tell a child who has been raised by a single mother based off their behavior. And so it's not that child's fault. They haven't been exposed to, to what, what, what a man looked like. They, 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 they can only gravitate or, or, or flow off, based on, based off what they've been exposed to. So, what do you think about that, um, Mike? Um, you know, <clears throat> that's I, I think that's good, and uh, one of the biggest things I draw from that is just the um, having an example because that's true. It's, everything you said is true about you know a lot of times it may be a single mother, but sometimes it's not. You know, I, you just need to think about how we were brought up. Does that keep us from not wanting to do certain things? You know. Um, so it's one of those things, it's still a matter of, it's the foundation there. And then if I get off, you know, if I get off course or I'm trying to do something that's, that's not necessarily the right path, do I have somebody that can step in there, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and now I got an example that I can see because again, you know, you look at even just hip hop culture, some kids now, you know, they in the suburbs and they got both parents in the house and they still want that hairstyle or they want to do that. So you know, a shift starts to happen in maybe the hip hop culture where you got a lot of the rappers that will be rappers of our time talking about buying and investing and, and sitting on something and letting the money stack up for you. And now they're pushing them off and saying, oh, that's they old, they washed up. So it's just a matter of it's it's all kind of influences because 
you know, you hear it all the time, man. You can you you do all you can in the house, but then they in school or work yeah. majority of the day. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's so many outside influences. So I think the biggest thing too is you know uh, that foundation. And we was talking about that earlier. If you you know setting that good foundation of what it means to be a man, and a lot of times too, you got some of the you got certain pockets of society in different places. Again, it, it's hidden from us a lot because they don't want to see the good mm -hmm. that comes from the bad. Yeah. But you got communities where you you're talking about poverty or lower middle class, and you got you know, 80 to 90% graduation rates at these places because it's a principal who became a mentor. Yeah. He is this father figure now. So it's it's possible, but it's a matter of, again, what is a man? What can you do to shape some of these young people around you that may not have that, that figure? And what we're doing right now helps that because now it's another example. Hey, those three fellows right there, you know, man, maybe one day I could be talking to somebody about that. There we go. So it's it's just a flow, I feel. There we go. And we should all a man, all of us men, we should be burdened with the question of how can I be what I haven't seen? How can I be what I haven't seen? I don't know what a man a man look like. Mm -hmm. And so the same thing as 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 Christians, how can I how can I see Jesus? How can I know Jesus? Or oh, how I, I haven't I, I haven't seen him. And we supposed to present Jesus to people. We supposed to, in our everyday walk, we supposed to represent, we supposed to present Christ to people. So if we don't do our job, they have nothing to see. Yeah, and then, so I was taking a, the last video with Brother Terrence, you know, we just came up where if, let me see if I can get it right this time, last time I messed it up. So if you don't have an earthly father, you don't have a representation, Spiritual so how, how can you know how that works? You know, you, you know, so I believe that it's very important, you know, to have that father in your earth so you can have that representation of that spiritual father. You know, I mean, that's how God set it up. So you know, I, I think that's very important. What do you think about that? It's interesting because he he talked about the word mentor. Mm -hmm. Every man should strive to be a mentor, to mentor somebody other than their own son. Yeah. You, we have to reach out. We, 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 when we do our family business, we now have to be uh, minded and we have to be conscious that there is some boy who's striving, he's trying to discover how to be a man and, and, and he don't know. Yeah. He, don't, he don't have the tools, he don't have the exposure. So for all of us men who, who, who love being a man, it is our duty our responsibility to now give back. We have to reach out and extend ourselves to the point where now we can take part in some kind of organization, some kind of program. The school, I, my side gig is I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a substitute bus driver, but also I'm a substitute teacher. Mm -hmm. And I, I, when I first started doing it, I thought it was, I looked at it as a way to, to earn an extra income, but now I see it as ministry. I see it as a way or, or, or opportunity to speak into a child's life, especially a male. And just speak positive. Yeah, we're like, talking about it. There's not a lot of men teachers out there, but that's definitely what's needed. You know, they need to see that those male figures because you know maybe it's not at home. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. So, but if it's in the school, you know, that's that's great because there needs to be that male figure somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so even if it's not at home or if it is at home, then it's being reinforced in school. Mm -hmm. That's 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 great. So, um, all right, well, that's that's great, good stuff. You know, and again, you know. We hear this that you know here the example you're trying to put out there in the media, you know, where it's uh hidden. That's right. right. We're putting this on YouTube. Right. And hopefully, you know, y'all subscribe and, and share this out so other men can, you know, find solutions, you know, the examples so they can better themselves. So